Given the rise of uh, TikTok nowadays, it's really a great idea to think about boosting Shopify store sales using TikTok. So in today's conversation, I want to explain everything to you that you need, you need to do if you want to uh, really catapult your Shopify store sales using TikTok. So here are the steps you need to follow. Step number one, you need to set up a TikTok business account. See, the whole thing here is that when we talk about TikTok, you probably uh, hear about virality, viral videos, people people having videos that have been watched one billion times and so on and so forth. But the thing is that to really actually capture the uh, the buzz, the traffic that comes from this viral videos, you got to have a TikTok business account. And a TikTok business account is a great way to learn about trains and become a TikTok pro. And you got to become a TikTok pro. You need to actually uh, go granular here. You have to look at into your analytics to know exactly what's really happening. And uh, so TikTok as a platform offers a commercial music library for business creators with uh, over 500,000, in some cases, 50,000 songs, 50,000 to 500,000 songs. And what we have seen here is that they, they offer. So what I'm trying to say here is that the TikTok Pro account comes with many, many, many benefits. So you have uh, 50,000 songs. You have performance and audience data. You have a web business suite. You have uh, analytics. They're really uh, granular. So you have a lot of things that help you really uh, have uh, insight about what's really happening in your account. So it's really important that, so that you understand your TikTok business, I would say data, so you can actually uh, very easily drive that traffic out of TikTok and into your Shopify store, okay? So setting up a TikTok business account is very easy. You need to start by downloading the TikTok app. You can actually access the, 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 the platform from your web, from your uh, desktop, not a problem. So if you're not a smartphone user, you can still use the TikTok and uh, so, so you can download it if you want to use it for mobile. So download it from the Apple or from the Apple App Store or a Google Play Store. Then you want to register for a TikTok account and you want to follow very simple steps. So head to your profile page. You want to tap uh, the, the hamburger icon in the top right corner. Then you need to select settings and privacy. And on their account, you want to tap manage account and you want to tap switch to business account on their account control. And then here you want to choose a category that best describes your account, such as clothing and accessories, electronics, pets, fitness, and so on and so forth. So once you're done, just uh, click complete and then you will complete your profile. So this is very, this is very important. The first step, you need to set up a TikTok business account. Second step. You need to leverage TikTok business to your advantage, okay? By the way, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. We're having a quick conversation about how to boost Shopify store sales using TikTok. So when, I, when we talk about leveraging TikTok business to your advantage, it means that you, TikTok as a platform, especially if you have uh, the TikTok business account, the pro account, you do have access to a constellation of uh, analytics constellation of uh, capabilities of tools okay of uh, settings of things of things that allow you to really understand your traffic to really understand what your followers are or are, are watching to really understand what can really help you determine how to convert your uh, TikTok traffic into your Shopify into Shopify store revenue okay so it's really important to understand now there are there are the, on uh, TikTok uh, business you can view data for things like seven and 28 day look backs at follower count. So you see whether there is a, some kind of drop or increase in your follower count. This is really important. You can pay attention to video views, playback time, likes, comments, and shares. This is important. You can see traffic source. You have profile views. You have audience demographics like gender, location, and age. Think about that. Those are bits of information that, that are really, really relevant to your Shopify store because you can tailor your Shopify store offer based on the audience that you have, you are able to see on TikTok. Okay. You can see on also view data for things like other content, your audience likes videos and sounds and your training videos. Okay. So here you have a constellation of, uh, of, infra, of uh, pieces of information that tells you exactly what's really happening. So this is what I mean by leveraging TikTok business to your advantage. In other words, you're basically analyzing the data on TikTok. You're actually recouping that data. You're dissecting it. 
you are seeing exactly you are seeing all the the intersection all the all the dynamics of that data and then once you're comfortable with that data once you're sure about the uh, particulars of that data you you can engineer a transfer of that data from a TikTok all the way to your Shopify store where the revenue generation should start right because you can't you can make money on TikTok though but there are there are other ways to make money on TikTok so right now we want to focus on making sure that we redirect or we direct the traffic from TikTok onto your Shopify store the third thing I want you to do here is to know the TikTok beast in general what do I mean by that? Well, TikTok is a really interesting platform. And But before I actually explain to you what I mean, please, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about how to boost Shopify store sales using TikTok. Okay, So when you think about TikTok, you have an audience that is ready to buy. That's really, really uh, something that you need to understand. People are ready to buy. People are ready. People, they have money. I mean, you know, the funny thing is people believe that TikTok is only for young people so that, yeah, you know, if you're 15 year old or 18 year old, you can't. No, no, no. You do have young folks on TikTok, but you also have uh, like young adults and uh, and uh, adults in general who are also on TikTok. People come, people love the format. People love the, the 30 minute format, the short video format. This is why YouTube also has jumped on the bandwagon with YouTube shorts, right? So there are, you have a, a diversity of uh, viewers on TikTok who are ready to buy. Okay. So you have an audience that is ready to buy. As a matter of fact, based on our research, one out of four viewers on TikTok they have purchased or researched a product after watching. So really think about that. So you have the market there, okay? Very, very important. You have content that keeps giving. So you want to invest in making quality content. It may take off now or later, depending on TikTok trends. And you have one place, one great place to manage everything, to manage, to manage all the content. So you can make sales on TikTok and use Shopify to manage orders, returns, and payments, okay? One thing we love about uh, about TikTok is that as a business, you can actually have in-feed ads, okay? You can create ads that really don't feel like, well, ads, okay? You have uh, content that uh, your viewers or shoppers in general or, or users in general will not skip, okay? And the thing here is that we have done research and we have found that uh, half or uh, let's say 50% to 60% of heavy TikTok users feel that the advertising on TikTok blends blends in with the content. This is really cool for you as a content creator and uh, Shopify store owner. And uh, so TikTok users are constantly they have a desire to discover. Okay, and you also have uh, auto generated TikTok uh, TikToks that actually blends very well with ads. So you do have uh, a TikTok base that is very favorable to your Shopify store in general. So this is kind of cool. You have to learn to advertise on TikTok. See, the whole thing is when we talk about TikTok marketing, we are talking about a series of processes, a series of techniques that are really helping you. They're real, they will help you create buzz around your brand. It's all about creating buzz around your brand, right? So TikTok marketing is, is really the process of promoting a brand, products, and or services to consumers on TikTok. And common TikTok marketing strategies will include the creation of trend-driven organic content using popular hashtags and incorporating TikTok influencers into promotional campaigns. One thing we have seen here is that when, when you talk about TikTok, when you talk about popular hashtags, when you talk about incorporating TikTok influencers, you do have a great mix here. We love this trifecta, okay? This trifecta is really important. Organic data, popular hashtags, and TikTok influencers. And the thing is that you want to use TikTok to market products. I've said the, I've said this before that you have uh, users who are ready to buy. And the thing here is that TikTok is really um, is really great in terms of uh, in terms of helping with the with the sales process because of the way the platform is uh, actually has been created has been designed. Okay, the thing is that on TikTok you can have a link in your in your bio, so you can you can actually link your store. In your bio you have a, a an audience that is very receptive to uh, short form videos in general this is really good we love that a lot and the cool thing is every video has a chance for, viral for virality 
The only thing is you need to actually uh, invest in quality. You, I want you to treat every video as a video that can actually take off. If not, if not now, maybe one year from now or two years from now. So at least if you are consistent in terms of quality in all videos that you produce, chances are one day one of them will actually uh, will actually uh, rise up, and that's all you care about anyway. And people buy what they see on TikTok. People are constantly buying what they see, so they have to see. So what, what I'm trying to say here is that you want to actually make short videos up around your products short funny and captivating videos around your product right it's all about engagement it's all about communicating to what your audience what you what you what you're selling on because you see the whole thing is it's not just about driving sales in your shopify store right i mean you have a shopify store okay you're trying to make sales okay but you got to find a way to engage first first you have to engage and then you have to retain and then you have to convert engage retain retain and convert okay so invest in uh, TikTok videos okay and remember that TikTok influencer marketing is huge you have uh, a variety of influencers on the platform if you have the uh, if you have the money for it but please go ahead and do it okay and TikTok works really well with Instagram also this is something that you need to think about Instagram is big on TikTok and this could help you a lot Let's talk about you creating a TikTok business strategy. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. I'm having a conversation with you about how to boost Shopify store sales using TikTok. Okay. And uh, so you need to think about having a, a business strategy. See, the whole thing is that after switching to a TikTok business pro account, you have to treat your business. You have to treat your, uh, your, 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 your platform, your, your presence, your profile as a real business. So you have to think about analytics, defining, clarifying your ideal customer. Okay. So define your audience. Think about things like location, age, gender, interest, career, industry, income level, relationship status, favorite site, favorite site or apps, their motivation to buy, their buying concern, their other info. So those are things you really have to uh, sort of dig in, dig in on. Okay. Understand the landscape that you're in. What are other players doing? What are your rivals up to? What are, what kind of strategy? What kinds of strategies are they actually implementing? Those are things and other stuff that you have to actually uh, be very strong in, so you have a clear idea of what uh, your your your, uh, your competitors are doing. So when we talk about understanding the landscape, you have to think about the trains on the on the platform too. Remember, on TikTok you have two competitors: your business competition. Okay, and your content competition. So TikTok, TikTok, like other social media platforms, is filled with people and brains alike. So you're not only competing with other businesses, but also other content creators. So this is really important. I want you to take a look at uh, your business competitors and see if they have a TikTok presence. If they do, look at the types of things they post and which posts have significant levels of engagement, right? It's all about really uh, sort of uh, mimicking what they're doing, but not copying. You can get inspiration for what they're doing, but not really copying outright. And let me talk to you about some marketing tips on TikTok. So when we talk about marketing tips on TikTok, you need to uh, figure out your promotion strategy. And uh, when it comes to uh, figuring out your promotion strategy, you got to differentiate yourself. You really have to differentiate yourself. You can't be like anybody else, okay? So first thing first, you want to be authentic. So with so much noise on TikTok, it's important to be authentic and stand out with your content. So your content should speak for itself and speak for you, okay? You don't want to post videos that sound like sales pages. That's not why users are on you, on TikTok. TikTok users want to be entertained or informed not sold to. So those are really important. So before starting your TikTok marketing efforts, you want to spend time on the app yourself. Once the algorithm learns what you like, it will feed you quality content you might find inspirational, which can boost creativity for your own videos. Okay. And you want to get the gear. So the thing is that if you want to have, uh, if you want to create the viral videos on TikTok, make sure you have the proper, proper uh, tools. Okay. You don't need to have a, a one thousand or ten thousand dollar camera. You can have your phone. You can start with your phone, but you might need a tool like uh, Adobe Premiere to uh, do some editing. But again, 
that those are things you can do. I mean, nowadays, if you have the resources, you can go as far as uh, whatever tools you want to buy. But uh, if you are just starting new and you just want to think things uh, very gradually, you can actually survive on TikTok, not a problem. You can actually have it. You can download an app for video editing on your phone, okay, and just start little. And trying to go live, okay? One way to build a human connection with your audience is by taking advantage of TikTok's live feature, which lets creators connect directly with followers through a live stream. So going live is one of the best ways to stand out on TikTok. So this is really good. And what will happen here is that you, the app, the TikTok app, will push a notification to your followers that you have started live streaming and your stream is pinned to the top of their uh, For You pages, okay? So for with millions of creators currently uh, on the platform, this real estate is really priceless. Think about that. And also uh, keep it simple, okay? A a anything you do on TikTok, please keep it simple keep it simple you don't want to pack an entire novel into a tweet and you can't actually uh, fit an entire movie into a tiktok okay to keep content digestible your videos should be short and sweet so stick to 15 second videos sharing high level information and pepper in 60 second deep dives to explain details further so if, it, if a topic is super important, you are welcome to break it down into multiple 15 second videos to keep viewership and replayability high. So this is really important. So what, what I want you to do here is you want to think of each piece of content as a unique story you are sharing with, with uh, your audience. Another thing I want you to do here is to connect in the comments, okay? The thing is that TikTok's discovery algorithm is amazing at getting your videos in front of potential followers, but that's only half the battle. Once the algorithm grabs someone's interest, it's your job to reel them in, okay? So TikTok comments are an amazing place for conversation, communication, and explanation. So as often as you can, Hop into the comments and communicate with your viewers. This is really good. And your responses will be, accomp will be accompanied by a creator badge alongside your username, making audience interaction super easy to spot for potential followers. And you'll be amazed how many users are thrilled to see a like by a creator notification pop up on their screen. And uh, you also want to master the trends. So based on your industry, you have to know what really works for you or what doesn't work, right? It's all about constantly reinventing yourself. So whatever trends are available on TikTok, please make sure that you jump on the bandwagon, on the right bandwagon though, okay? So you, so for example, if you are in a sector where you have trends, like let's say you have seasonality, you have a cyclicality, the holiday season, you have a lot of stuff happening and uh, there are, there is a set of, there is a set of, uh, of t-shirts, set of dresses that that happen to be very popular around this time of the year, well, jump on the bandwagon and make sure that you produce videos around that theme. It's all about being relevant. It's all about mastering the trains. So you are constantly reinventing yourself. So you're constantly making sure that your TikTok, your TikToks are appreciated. Also think about accessibility, eligibility. So when we talk about accessibility and eligibility we're talking about making sure that you have the right communication because see, your communication must be must be in sync with your target audience right if you have to think about the tone are you into formality do you want a formal sort of uh, communication style or are you comfortable with something else so you have to constantly think about what really works for you and most importantly most importantly what works for your audience right it's all about communicating directly conveying the data directly to your audience so that you are you are in good in good shape overall one thing i want to say also is that when we talk about legibility we're speaking about sticking to very simple descriptions very simple very very clear content nothing really uh, basic though but it has to be clear Another thing I want to say before closing today's conversation, I want to talk about features, features, features. You know, you have to understand that TikTok constantly pumps out new features, animated GIF stickers, titles, and new filters. They're among some of the most popular TikTok upgrades. So while the algorithm is kept secret, you can focus on using these new tools to uh, keep your feed looking fresh for your audience. It's all about making sure that your, your feed is looking fresh, right? If your audience sees that you have a, a real TikTok business strategy where you are constantly posting and you're posting quality content, sooner or later, you are going to grow. You are going to grow. This is just logic, okay? And it's really important to always take advantage of uh, those new tools. They are there for a reason. 
you you bet that TikTok has done they do research constantly on their platforms. So if they can if they come out with a new feature, you bet they want first you to use it as a user, but they also have done research and know that that, that tool is needed and will help uh, will have viewer engagement. So please use it. You also want to post consistently. Consistency is really important when 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 it comes to growing on uh, on TikTok. Especially if you want to boost Shopify store sales using the platform, you want to post consistently. So this will help you actually build the buzz around your your uh, your TikTok account, and uh, you can actually parlay that buzz. You can parlay that traffic that on into your Shopify store. Okay, very important. One thing I want to say here is that you you want to have, be consistent in terms of the time when the, like in terms of the time at the, the specific time you post you make your post so if you see if you want to do things like on monday tuesday wednesday friday friday thursday saturday sunday or you want to do once a day or once every two days or once every three days so consistency is important and based on our research once a day or once every other day is the minimum if you really want to grab attention do not actually space out your uh your post by too long of a time okay if you only post twice a week you're not going to you're not going to grow on on, uh, on TikTok, and you can't really build a strong enough followership so you that you can parlay into your shopify store okay and you also can join creator groups there are countless uh TikTok creator groups you have TikTok creator support you have TikTok for beginners you have a lot of groups that actually uh will can actually help your your store in your Shopify store your TikTok presence also you can improve your TikTok presence so take advantage of those thank you so much for your attention I really appreciate it. in today's conversation I was just talking to you about how to boost Shopify store sales using TikTok okay I explained to you about setting up a TikTok business account leveraging TikTok business to your advantage knowing the TikTok base the whole beast learning to advertise on TikTok, and creating a TikTok business strategy. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.